Have a look at your diagram here. The angle of inclination is an angle we're going to mark on here. So if you've got yet another colour, I don't know how, many, how you're going with how many colours you've got. See this angle right in here, right? I'm going to label it right now. It's quite small. I'm going to label that theta. So I'm going to say theta is... Now, how do you describe this angle, like verbally, rather than just saying, oh, it's there? What features around that angle define the angle? What's it between? Yeah. It's on a straight line. Okay, for starters, it's on this straight line here. By the way, there's another straight line here which has nothing to do with the angle. What is it about this straight line that's important? It's the base. It's the base. It's the, yeah, it's sort of like if you put a triangle there, you'd say that's the bottom of it, it's the base. Because it's horizontal, right? So it's the x axis. Anything else? What else can you tell me about it, right? Uh, it's parallel to the like, base of the triangle. Yeah, very good. So see this guy down here and this guy down here, or up here? They have to be parallel to each other. So in fact, if I wanted to, that theta over there, and this is important to me, this theta is the same theta. Why is that? What's the reason? Corresponding angles on parallel lines. Very good. Also, we said this is the x axis, right? There's another angle formed between our AB and the x axis. This guy over here, it's not the one I want. I want this one. So, how would you distinguish? If you were trying to describe to someone, you couldn't draw anything, you just had to use words, how would you say, I want this one, not that one? Say that again. Okay, if you wanted to calculate this one, it would be the supplement. That's the word we use, 180 degrees minus this angle. But what I'm trying to do is describe to someone, hey, can you mark this theta and not this one? What words would you use? But the interior angle of the triangle. Okay, so you can say, look, I want the angle on the inside of the triangle, in here, not on the outside. Now, there's a tiny bit of a problem with that, even though this works here. I could turn this line, rather than going up, I could make it go down. Right? And then actually the angle I want is outside the triangle, not inside. So I'm going to provide to you, in here, and I'd love you all to write this with me, a little verbal definition for this. Okay. Theta is the angle between... Yeah, sorry, it's a theta, the, the dash is up the top. Between interval AB or PQ or MN or whatever it is that you're comparing together, and now the part that you're looking at, right? You guys said x-axis before. That was very helpful. But it's not just any part of the x-axis. It's this right-hand part. Okay? Because I can say, like, this is the positive side and this is the negative side, I say A, B, and the positive x-axis. That tells me. Go this way, don't go that way, and that's what will give you theta. Okay, so far so good. Now, I want to know what the size of that angle is. How can I do it? What information do you know, what knowledge do you have over the last couple of years that can help you work out an angle where you've got this kind of information supplied to you? Any takers? Yeah, right. Okay, I have a right angle triangle in here. I know that this is 90, so that's 90 as well. If I knew this angle in the really, really small one in the corner, then I could say this plus this plus this is 180, so I can work it out. The teeny problem is I don't know what the top angle is yet anyway. I don't know it. So I'm going to put that to one side. Is there any other information I can use that will help me work out either of those, like the top one or theta? Any suggestions? I'll give you a clue. We drew a big triangle. Okay, so trigonometry is like literally the name trigonometry is measuring triangles. Okay, so trigonometry can help you. We haven't looked at it for a while. Can you dig down into your memories? How am I going to work this out? Oh. Sine, cos, and tan. Okay, sine, cos, and tan are all ratios of lengths between sides. Now just have a look. Uh, let's look at the theta, this one in the big triangle here. Okay, if you're standing over here, which two sides have you got? Because you don't actually have all three. You've only got two of them. You've got rise, which is the opposite, and then you've got run, which is the adjacent side, right? Sokatoa, which one's that? That's tan, isn't it? So therefore, what I can write is, underneath here, I'm going to write tan theta equals opposite on adjacent. In this case, that's 
rise over That's run. rise over run, which you guys worked out for me before, is 5 over 3. Okay. So tan theta equals the gradient. Wouldn't you inverse? Okay, so uh, I'll get to that in a second. Right? So I've written down tan theta equals 5 over 3 from this right angle triangle, but I don't want tan theta, I want theta, right? So if you reach for your calculator now, theta equals. Now you need to press a button on your calculator. There's the tan button, but you don't want tan. You've already got tan. You've got to undo tan. So tan above, tan. above the tan button, you should see this. Now, just please make a note, even though that's exactly what it looks like, do not ever read it out, like I'm about to read it out, as tan to the power of minus one. It's not the greatest notation. US people, they call this arc tan to avoid the confusion. The way you read it, the way we would read it, and I'd love you to write this down so that you say it properly. This is tan inverse. Or you could say inverse tan, but tan inverse is the order that you've written it. Okay. So I want to get rid of tan on both sides. So I'm going to do tan inverse to this. Uh, that means you go shift, then you hit the tan button. Your calculated display should look like this. Okay. Um, hit equals. Just be watchful though. Um, has someone got an answer for me? Are we? 59.036 That's cool. That's cool. We'll go with that. Okay. Now, quick show of hands. I hope this is not too many of you. Does anyone have this on the calculator for hit equals and get a different number? Anyone? Like a number around one. Okay, all right, that's good. The only reason why I'm just hesitating is because especially if you have an older sibling or a senior student who stole your calculator, uh, if you look really, really hard at the top of the display, can you see there's a bunch of like bits above there, one of which says this, I think. Do you see that? Like a tiny little square that says D. In it. The D stands for degrees. Degrees are, of course, the way that we measure angles. We've been doing it for years. It's not the only way though, and next year, you'll find out about another kind of measurement. And if you've let your calculator to someone, sometimes they'll change the mode because they were supposed to use a different mode. In particular, this one. Okay, you'll learn about that next year. Uh, but if you get a different number at the end, that's how you know something's gone wrong. Okay. 59 degrees. Does it look like 59 degrees? Yeah. Have a look at your diagram. I think that's pretty good. Okay. You got syntax error? You got syntax error, yeah. Okay, now, this idea of um, angle of inclination, tan theta is the gradient, okay? So underneath this, like this is just an example, right? EG. Can you put in a really nice big box to find the angle of inclination? All you have to say is tan theta equals the gradient, right? If you know the gradient of the line, you can find the angle. 